Hello, I'm Dr. Menon. For the last uh, nearly three decades, I've been working in the field of addiction management. I'm a consultant physician by profession, but I found that this is one of the important issues that needs to be addressed as part of social work. The reason is that more and more as time is passing and the world is changing, people are living in circumstances which make their own existence difficult. And one of the major issues here is the use of chemicals, which has changed both their physical and their mental state. Many of them lead to circumstances which are completely detrimental. Let's look at what the perspective is worldwide. Around 275 million people globally, that's about 5.5% of the population, in the age of 15 to 65, have used some chemical at least once in a year. And of these, a little over 10%, that's maybe around 31 million, have been using it to the extent that it has become physically and mentally detrimental. That means that their lives are damaged enough that they require some treatment. But that's not easy. The situation even worsens when you consider something like very young populations. People in the age of 15 and 16, that's around 13 and a half million people. That's again about 5.5% of that lot. They have been using cannabis. And the question always comes around, so is it safe or not? We'll discuss that later. We need to look at more issues. At least about 10 million people worldwide are injecting drug users. And the big problem is that injecting drug use can be a very unsafe habit. It brings a lot of baggage along with it, especially in the form of multiple infections, but particularly hepatitis C and HIV. Nearly 60% of the injecting drug users wind up with hepatitis C. And people want to know what does that mean? It's a chronic degenerative disease of the liver, which winds up in failure, and over 10% of them will wind up with a poorly treatable cancer. So the end point is either a requirement for transplanting the liver, or they'll die. One in eight of them are going to wind up with HIV. And I think worldwide HIV is well enough to be understood now that it's a huge complex. It's not just an infection. Over time, there is tremendous amount of morbidity requiring not only a lot of physical care and medical care, but huge expenditures. That's fine. We know that this is a huge problem in terms of numbers. But that's not enough. We also need to know that at least about half a million people are dying every year because of drug overdose. At least 10-11% of that lot are directly due to the effect of the drug itself, probably in intoxication or very serious consequences on the cardiorespiratory system or wind up with accidents directly related to the drug use. But apart from that, the remaining also have these other morbidities that I talked about. So, Huge in terms of the impact on society, huge in terms of government expenditures, and completely devastating where family life is concerned. When you look at addiction, it's not just a case of just using the drug. If you look at the scope of addiction, that means over a period of time, the individual and their individual society gets completely damaged. Family systems break up, the person is in ill health, Productive years of an individual are lost, and when you look at it in society's term, that means 5-10% of the global population which would be working in productive years are not available. To a variety of reasons, maybe just absenteeism, or it may be even illnesses. The problem doesn't just end there. The need for a mental change, a change of scenario, a change of feeling because of a variety of circumstances in society and in the individual as such, that now we have additional problems. Most of the drugs were well known, opiates were a major cause, cocaine along with it, cannabis forever, alcohol too, but now we have additional chemicals coming in. Most of them are more or less amphetamine type stimulants. In the last study of the World Drug Report in 2016, they had identified 460 new chemicals. They all seem to be like amphetamine substances, but the entire spectrum of action and consequences is very poorly understood even today. We don't know what's going to be their outcome in the long term. We don't know what sort of support should be provided, what treatment is going to be necessary, what permanent damages are going to occur. This will only be known in time. The cost of illegal drug trafficking 
is close to 30% of the world's business output. That is no laughing matter. This is serious stuff. If there's any reason why drugs are around, people make money out of it. And the consequences of it are social fallout where people get addicted.